set that white balance to you. All right, so here we go. Let me write this. This is going to have some long names to it. It's no big deal. And it's a dehydrogenase. So look at the name of that enzyme. And we got three of these in the picture here. So this is, you know, just getting the name of the scheme in is a task in itself. So where to start on this? If you remember the pyruvate, pyruvate is three carbons. So essentially what happens is Vitamin BS1, you know that? That has the sulfur in it. prepare this thing could take two hours to do first thing we're going to do lipoic acid lipoic acid here this is held in the enzyme of dihydrolipoamide acyltransferase by a lysine so it gives it a big arm and what it does it'll take the acyl group from the pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme take it in by the sulfurs then it'll give it to a sulfur of acetyl-CoA. Then it'll go over and dihydrolipoamide dehydrogenase takes the H's off so that the arm can come back and do it again. So when you these guys look at evolution, it's not just the evolution of an enzyme, but look how they work together. Three enzymes in a row here. But watch how this is. This is what fascinated me as an undergraduate here. This arm, there's a lysine holding it. So somewhere down here, picture of some nitrogen from the amino acid backbone. Okay, so this is held by a bunch of things. So on the side chain coming out, what's a lysine? Five carbons, right? So coming up from here, we'll go. Fifth would make it a nitrogen, fig, N, so off the front of this here, see here where we're coming off here, there's the rest of the enzyme back here, so just twos we'll call them, just one CH2. CH2, CH2, CH2. This nitrogen now, what do our CH2s do? Do they go in green color again? So that nitrogen now is bound to a carbon, diamonds. How am I going to do it? I guess we're going to go up this way. So there's one, two, three. Did I leave enough here? Four. Five. These are big molecules <laughs> we're drawing here, so I gotta make sure I leave enough. Right next to the nitrogen, this is actually a carbonyl. So draw big O, double bond part here. going up again, so see the one twos. in real 
real fast. So the color coding really comes in handy. Nitrogen here. get up here to the fun stuff. So here's our marine legs. Now this is where the lipoic acid comes from. Watch how this binds. It's a ring with two sulfurs in it. So let's just go diamond to diamond. Get our diamonds that way. Took a while. So on this five membered ring here. with the green, because remember, they're in the oxygen fluid over here. Let's see what our This is going to be cool. The sulfur's only got two bonds like it does with the oxygen. So what you're going to have out here are a bunch of electrons. Electrons get a little cloud. It's just going to be a real electronegative kind of thing going on here, okay? These Hydrogens are all twos, I believe, straight carbon chains in there. One, two, we'll call it. One, two, that's going to be a one, so we'll keep it true to form here. Now remember, I said the pyruvate. So what happens is the pyruvate dehydrogenase has already gotten rid of a CO2 off it. So now it's holding an acyl group. And the way it's holding that is with vitamin B1, the one we call BS1. So this enzyme, see how it's on a long arm here? That's lysine. And then the five into the lipoic acid holding it. See how long that is? That's hanging right off. And what it's going to do is it's going to lean up to the pyruvate dehydrogenase. And the portion of the vitamin B S1 that has the acyl group on it is going to give it to this. So there's too much to draw right there. But what we're going to show happening is we're going to bring this up in the middle. Sulfur over here, sulfur over here, up here we got a sulfur on the end, so what's in between is going to be this acyl group. That's the acyl group that's going to go on to the citric acid cycle. So the way it gets 